everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. Today we have a fun Father's Day card because it's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Let's get started and I just wanted to share with you that starting today, all the way till June 30th, I am offering 20% off of all Stampin' Up! products that you order through me. That's right, today through June 30th. Why, you ask? Because I am striving for a goal that is really big and seems very far out of reach. And the end of our Stampin' Up! year is June 30th. So I'm working super hard towards this goal and I really, really want to achieve it. So with all of that said, um, if you place an order with me online, you will either receive a 20% rebate check from me or you can email me your order and I'll deduct the 20% and then you provide your credit card number to me either over the phone or through email, whatever makes you comfortable, and I will um, process your order with a 20% discount. But if you wanna order directly online, you can do that right on my blog, and really all you have to do is place your order, and you'll receive a 20% rebate from me, or you can apply that 20% to a future order if you want to do that. Either way, um, that's how it works, it's super simple, and all you have to do is place an order. So I hope that you do that and help me reach my goal. I'm super excited about getting uh, this last award. It's the last year that Stampin' Up's offering it. And so if I get enough sales, I'll achieve the award. And I'm, I'm really shooting for that. So any help in this department would be greatly, 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 greatly appreciated. So I want to give you my 20% discount to maybe encourage you to place an order with me um, from now till June. 30th. All right, so let's make the card. Um, I am using the From Land to Sea stamp set, and I'm using this really cool marlin. My husband caught a marlin one time in Hawaii, and I did not get to see him catch it because I did not go out on the cruise ship with him, that or the charter ship, charter boat, whatever those things are called. So I missed out on getting to see him catch it, and I'm really sad, and he didn't have a camera, so there you go. So okay, we are going to make this Marlin, and I'm going to do some water coloring. I'm stamping on a scratch piece of shimmery white cardstock. Sh our shimmery white cardstock that you can find in our catalog is really great for water coloring. So I'm going to use three different, or I'm sorry, four different colors. I'm using Night of Navy, Island Indigo, Bermuda Bay, and Daffodil Delight. And before I open them, I'm just squeezing them in the middle to get some ink into the, to the plate or the palette of the ink pad. I'm going to zoom out a little here. Give myself a little more space to work and still be in the view for you guys. So I'm just going to open all of these up because I need all the colors at the same time for the blending I'm going to be doing. Um, it's also a really good idea to have a paper towel handy when you're doing a technique like this. And I'll show you why. Alright, so here's my aqua painter. And it's full of water and we sell these as well. I really have tried several different aqua painters and I think Stampin' Ups is one of the best. I just squeeze until I see a little bit of water coming down and dripping out through the brush. And then I dab it off so it's not saturated. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the color that I want to divide the two colors that I'm using, or the different colors that I'm using. So I'm going to start with Bermuda Bay, and I'm just going to go in and kind of go along the center of the fish using the Bermuda Bay color. And then I'm going to use Island Indigo without cleaning my brush. I don't know if you noticed that. I did not clean my brush off. And I'm going to add the Island Indigo just above where I added the Bermuda Bay, but kind of letting the water move around and come down into the Bermuda Bay. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Knight of Navy and add that all the way up the fins. And then I'm going to use some Island Indigo, move it around in his fins, and then last a little bit of Bermuda Bay to just kind of lighten it and give it some cool feature there. 
So then I'm going to clean my pin off by just dabbing it into the paper towel and squeezing some water down because I really want to make sure I get all the blue out of the end of my pin before I move to my yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and move into the yellow and I'm just going to lightly go kind of along the line of this Bermuda Bay. I actually want to bring some of the Bermuda Bay color down into the yellow to create a little bit of a green. And then as I go further down, I want that green to lighten and I really want yellow, a more yellow across the bottom of my fish. Now this is not an exact depiction of a marlin, but it's as close as I could get. Um, and I think it looks really beautiful. Okay, so I'm just cleaning my pin off and I'm going to put all of these away and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my fish all painted and what I'm going to do now is actually hand snip out my fish. So again, I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I'll be back on with you guys. Okay, so this little fish is almost done, but I have this really cool Wink of Stella pin that is full of beautiful shimmery glitter and my friend Katina bought it for me. And so I am just going to use this pen to add this gorgeous glitter over the top of this fish because he definitely needs to look like he's shining. And I just love adding the glitter to this fish because this is what's definitely going to give him the extra oomph that he needs on this card. Okay, so I'm going to set him aside and let him dry a little. And I'm going to get all the other pieces of my card here that I've already cut out. This is a piece of our new thick Whisper White card stock. And I've already scored it here at the five and a half. It's cut at four and a quarter by 11. So I'm just going to set this aside because I really don't need it until the very end. Then I have a piece of crumb cake card stock that's cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to use this cool um, Fisher, not Fisher ship wheel. I don't know where Fisher came from. And I'm just going to stamp this wheel kind of randomly around the crumb cake paper. And then I have already cut out using our new tags and labels framelits. I used these framelits and I've cut out the pieces for my board. So what is really cool about this um, framelit set that I did not realize is that they are like perfect layering pieces. I didn't, I didn't understand that. So I thought that these were just like two different shapes. Well, they're actually, these are the same shape and these are the same shape, but they layer perfectly together. So I'll show you what I mean. If you use the biggest one from here and the biggest one from here, you get this layer. Isn't that nice? It's like the perfect layer. So I was pretty stoked about that when I discovered it. I bought these without even realizing that. And so when I got them and, and started using them and discovered it, I was really excited. So I'm just putting dimensionals on the back of there. And then a couple dimensionals on the back of the white piece. And layering it down. And then I have this really cool new um, silver, we have it in silver and gold, this thread. It's really thin. It's like fishing line. So that's what I thought of when I saw it was fishing line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of my marlin. I hope this is, is there a difference between a marlin and a swordfish? You guys will have to tell me. There probably is. I'm sure they're different things. But I don't know. How, how do you tell the difference? What is it? I don't know. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a, a marlin. All right. So I'm going to take this really thin thread. I, you guys probably could barely even see it. And I'm just going to wrap it around my fingers. Kind of loose and crazy. Here. And then... <sighs> Sorry, it's easy to get away from you because it's so small. And then on top of that, it's um, slippery. 
and then I'm pushing it down into the dimensionals so it will stick in place. Then I'm putting that down on top of this little plaque that I've created. I was kind of going for the look of a mounted fish on the wall. I'm gonna go back and add a little more Enrique Stella because in my opinion, there's never enough glitter. All right. And then last but not least, I have the sentiment that I've already stamped in early espresso. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that down using dimensionals. All right. And I wanted to use um, candy dots for each side of this, but I don't have any that are the right color. So I wanted to, I really wanted the dark brown, but I don't have any that are dark brown. So this one's not gonna get it. I will show you my finished card. This one got the little candy dots cause I had some in crumb cake. So the last step obviously is just to adhere this piece to the card base. So we're just gonna do that really quick. And then we will be done. And I have a card for my husband and a card for my dad. And now I've got to make one for my father-in-law. I don't know which, what kind I'm going to make him yet, but it'll be a cool one. Okay, there we have it. Cool Happy Father's Day card. I hope you all are having a blessed day. And I will see you tomorrow with a new video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.